okay so uh, the first thing that we will discuss is uh, what our uh, project structure uh, should uh, be like when we are building uh, this before we you know get down into any code or anything so uh, we're gonna try to divide the uh, server into different layers and we will create separate folders for that now let's just say that uh, the uh, like uh, at the top of our structure is like the user and the user would of course be somebody who is using this uh, application of course he won't be uh, directly using this i mean e either the information would be coming via a browser or via mobile app so let's say we have like a browser or there is a you know uh, mobile app okay so all of these uh, devices they basically uh, you know uh, access uh, the server via either APIs or uh, like HTML. So the topmost layer of our server is basically called the view layer and the view layer can be either of two types. If it's like going directly to the browser, then it could be like HTML data, which uh, we have seen we can use HBS to, you know, form HTML data like that. Or the other kind of view could be like if we are uh, trying to you know uh, build something that is machine readable in nature that mobile apps etc and web front ends like uh, react or view or angular app can read so in that case we would be creating like sending uh, using an api which uh, we would be into which we would be sending some json based data okay so that's what our view layer uh, is going to look like uh, then uh, after the view layer, so the view layer is basically what the client gets, but the view layer is uh, generated by uh, something called the router. Okay, now what a router is, it's something that you would have already covered uh, when we were discussing uh, express uh, routes. So like if I go to slash, uh, you know, if I go to like uh, slash users path, I'm going to get details about like I'm going to get array of users. If I go to slash uh, users slash one, I'm going to get the object of the where the user ID is, you know, one, some detail like that. Now, uh, the thing is that uh, uh, this is basically or all of this is the job of the router. So different kinds of routes are handled by the router and uh, then uh, the layer below that router so like if we look at like our you know database or you know uh, let's say this is our you know db or we have our you know our disk where data is stored so uh, this is uh, called our persistence layer okay uh, and uh, the layer that you know interacts with the persistence layer is called uh, the uh, model layer and the model layer is uh, something that usually we build you with uh, ORMs uh, though we can you know hand create a model layer as well but for our case we'll be using SQL to create a model layer now between the router and the model layer is something that we uh, create is uh, in our uh, current project what we'll do is we'll be creating something called a uh, controller okay so we will be putting a controller uh, between the model layer and the router layer and why are we building something like a controller so what happens is that uh, you could have a project where you know like if I go to uh, slash users path uh, you know then uh, if I send a request to slash users path I get like an HTML page with the details of users if I go to slash API uh, slash users then uh, what I get is I get an array which contains a lot of JSON objects, each of them being each user. Now, uh, of course, uh, there is going to be different express routes which are handling that. Okay, so like at the you know at the router layer, uh, these seem to be like you know uh, different things like uh, slash users and slash API users. But uh, from the uh, you know the database, uh, what query we would have had to do for this is exactly the same which would be something like you know select star from users uh, right so this query is uh, you know exactly the same that we have to uh, perform while uh, there are like uh, this uh, root and this root are separate routes so uh, we create uh, something in the middle called 
say get uh, all users we create a function like this and this root also calls this function this root also calls this function they both get uh, the data return from here okay so uh, this kind of a thing uh, that we built here this is called basically a controller so also like if we have a lot of uh, objects like say we have got uh, articles and we have got comments and we've got users and so on and we have a lot of them uh, and there are our CRUD operations create read update delete now it might not necessarily be that all of these operations are supported for all of these entities for example maybe we allow uh, creating commands and we allow reading commands uh, but uh, we don't allow editing of commands uh, but we allow deleting of comments for example articles we don't allow deleting articles uh, we only allow updating and creating and reading something like that so uh, we might need to create a function like you know uh, create article get articles and edit article but we don't need to create a function called uh, you know delete article delete article uh, this kind of a, a function this is not needed so the controller layer uh, we can you know uh, at, uh, if we come back to here and discuss this that at the controller layer we can de de decide like you know if we take our crud and if we take our models m1 m2 m3 which ones uh, you know should exist which ones should not exist all of that stuff we can decide at the controller layer so uh, we've got the views which is finally what the clients will see we've got the router which decides when uh, on which url we're going to respond with what the controller is like wrapper functions to help us uh, you know uh, create common uh, db operation calls uh, then the model layer is where we define our data structures we uh, create our orms and uh, of course then finally uh, it uh, goes on to the persistence layer where things are actually saved to the disk so that's kind of the structure that uh, overview of structure that uh, any project uh, roughly uses although there are different kind of structures people use but roughly we divide our uh, project into such structure between the controller and the model layer we might create a transaction layer so that you know database operations can be put into transactions if needed uh, we might have like a access control layer between the router and the controller uh, which is to prevent unauthorized access so like say admins can delete articles normal users cannot delete articles stuff like that so we, we can have like different layers between these layers as well but roughly these this is what we would uh, need okay so uh, that's uh, how we will try to uh, structure our uh, you know code uh, so let's uh, get started with the code uh, from the next video okay